Carly and in this video I'm going to be making Christmas tree ornaments with my puppy. She's a little bit excited right now, that's why she's going a little nutso. She's like a little horse. Sienna, she wants to make this video. Oh, oh! What are you doing, Poopsie? Come here! So, sorry I cannot hold my puppy in this exact video because she's going a little nuts right now. But I just got my puppy and she is a golden doodle and I got this memory paw print ornament that I can put on my Christmas tree and have her little paw print on it. So I thought that is so cute. Basically, the instructions say to knead the putty for 30 seconds, spread it out, and then put the puppy's paw on it and then it just has to dry. So it seems relatively simple and easy, but my puppy's a little crazy, so it might be, a oh, it might be not the easiest, but we'll try our best here. So this is the little box and then the dough is in here. It's actually pre-made. And then they said this is like a little, stencil or like a roller, so that's cute. And then before I start this project, I'm gonna wipe her paws using these lavender chamomile pet wipes so she has no dirt in her ornament because she likes to dig holes outside. Y'all, she is totally like a little toddler baby, so. I think I'm gonna have to start this project without her because I don't know how long she'll last. So I'm gonna start by kneading this Play-Doh stuff. So what my mom actually got this ornament making kit from TJ Maxx. And on here it says that this is like totally safe for your dog. So that's great because I'm not trying to have her die out here. Now, it comes with two hoops. I'm guessing the bigger one is if your dog has a big paw and this is if your dog has a little paw. I'm just gonna use the little one because she's got really small baby paws. Okay, so the little stencil is on here and the clay is in here. And I just rolled it out to be as flat and flawless as I can, but the clay kind of just cracks. So hopefully it'll just turn out amazing regardless. So there is my puppy poo, Reese. And currently I think she's chewing on somebody's shoes here, but hopefully I can get her. Hey, do you wanna make a craft? Do you wanna make a little craft? She's like, what is this camera? Hello? <gasps> Hello, you wanna make a little craft? Okay y'all, so I'm gonna have to be quick because she is getting a little crazy. So she's used to getting her paws wiped off because when she goes outside, I always wipe her paws. Don't bite me. Okay. Don't eat the wipe. I'm just trying to wipe her paws. I'm just trying to wipe her paws. Okay. And now I'm gonna stick her little. Oh, she is trying to bite me. She has little Grinch paws because her hair grows over her little paw, so hopefully that's okay. But, look, oh, we're gonna do crafts. We're doing some craft. You wanna do some crafts? Okay, put your paw in. Oh! Ooh! Okay, so this is her little paw print. It is so cute. I'm kind of upset because the clay did a lot of cracking, but maybe it's just the type of clay. Okay, so I decided to use the bigger stencil because the small one kept cracking, and I just added water to the clay so it would be smoother and it wouldn't crack. So now I'm gonna grab her again and put her paw print in. Good girl. 
Okay, so this is the finished product and I think it's great because maybe when it's dry I can paint it and just write her name across with the extra space I used on the large stencil. Honestly, with the little stencil, you really can't do too much and her paw is like taking up most of it. Sit, sit, give me your paw. Paw, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, boobies. Good girl, boobies. Yay! So I brought it up into my room and I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and then I will start doing some paint designing on it. So it's been several hours that my ornament has been drying and it's just still not like super hard. I think. You know, there was just too much dough in the kit. Like if I had rolled it out like thinner, then it would have dried faster and maybe there would be less cracking, I don't know. But I tried to cover up the cracks with some water, you know, mixing it in the clay to try to really seal the cracks over. But no matter what I did, there's always cracks. So now I'm going to paint it. After many long hours of working on this little ornament it turned out so cute I just added a little bow here and it says Reese 2021 with her little paw friend it is so cute I'm so happy with how it turned out there were some struggles in the making with this overall would I recommend you all to buy this kit? Probably not. I just think the clay, it was either too old or something was wrong with it because it just kept cracking and it just, it doesn't look that clean. But the idea of doing a paw print ornament, I would totally recommend because it is so, so cute. But that is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. All of my social medias are linked in the description below. So check those out. And I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all. Bye!